Okay, greetings. Uh, this video will be on uh, INT1108. It is project one in lesson three. Um, it is a requirement to have Microsoft Office for this project. You're going to be using an application in Microsoft Office called Microsoft Word. Uh, you you do it is uh, something that is paid for Microsoft Office, but with the school you get it for free. And I'm going to show you how to get that right now. You're going to go to the eResource Writing Center, or I'm sorry, the eResource Center, and in the eResource Center, if you scroll down, you're going to see an area that says Office 365 in Office 2013. You simply click on that and it gives you the instructions on how to get Office 365 in 2013. 365 is the online version and 2013 is actually the installed on the computer version. If you have a Chromebook, you'll have to use the Office 365 online. Uh, if you have a regular computer, you could download it as uh, Office 2013. The instructions are here. Um, on how to log in and get it. And remember that this is offered through the school. So if there's any problems, contact the Millermont Help Desk, which is right there. This is not, the instructor can't help you with that. It's going to have to be the, the Help Desk with Millermont. So you can contact them there right there. Or when you are in your classroom or any other place, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see tech support with the hours of operation right here, okay? So that's how you could get Office and start your project. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our classroom, we're gonna start it in lesson three, we're gonna do the Microsoft Project One, and the first step it's gonna tell you to do, this is the instructions, so you wanna open them up and print them out, um, however, whatever's good for you, um, but the first step, I have mine printed, uh, the first step is to open up a, this document. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. I'm going to open the document. It's opening in Microsoft Word, right? I want to make sure if this comes up that I click that Enable Editing, and it tells me to save my file. That's the first step. Open the hands-on project and save it with last name, first name, Word project. And there's some underscores there. The reason why someone would do underscores in naming convention is because spaces are not good uh, with regards to um, saving items. Sometimes there's hidden things in spaces that we don't see. So I'm going to save it. And I usually pick this PC and desktop. You can save it to other places by just clicking browse or to your cloud. You just have to remember where you save it because when you upload it back into the classroom, you need to know where it's saved from. So I'm going to do my desktop and I'm going to save it as it's suggested, right? It says last name, first name, right? Word project. Uh, so I need to spell things right. And I'm just going to click that save button. I'm not going to change this to anything else. I want it to be a Word document because that's how it's going to be graded. So you make sure you save it as a Word document. So I click save. It's going to save to my desktop, and I'm going to verify it's there. Right There's what I just saved, right? So I know that when I'm uploading it, I know where it is. Oops, so let's go ahead and go to the next step. Just going to adjust the screen here. Okay, so we're going to go to the next step. I am going to go ahead and open up these instructions so that you could see me going through it as I go through it. It's going to be another one open up. Let's get rid of that there. So here's the instructions as I'm going through it. And what I'm going to do is I have Windows 10, so I'm just going to snap that to the side as I go through this. Um, you may not want to do that because it doesn't show you the full screen, but I'm just going to do that for now. Um, so my next step is to uh, place the cursor at the beginning of the document and type this, this word here. So I'm just going to copy that. So I simply highlighted it right there. I'm going to right click and press copy. Minimize that. It's telling me to go to the beginning of the document. Put that and press enter. Right. So I've gone ahead and done that step. The next step says to type 
introduction and press enter. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So we're going to go at the same place where the mouse was, right? Introduction, press enter. So you could either copy and paste that or just simply type it. I'm just copying and pasting it because it's easy. I, so I don't misspell it, right? But the first thing I did was uh, this word here, and the next thing is right there. Okay, the next step is to um, select the words on the first line. We're going to do title style. We're going to go ahead and do the next step too. We're going to change this, the font style to Verdana and 26 point. Okay, so title style, Verdana, 26 point. So styles is up here, right? I'm looking for title style, right? And I wanted to change it to Verdana, so I can just type V here, right? And then the 26 font or 26 point. So that's that step. Okay, we're going to go ahead and continue with step five and step six. Step five wants us to right align this title. And then step six wants us to select introduction and apply heading style one. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're going to right align. Let's get that minimized. We're going to go ahead and right align. Right align is right here, right? Because it's to the right of the line. Right now it's left aligned. So we're going to do right align. And then right here, we're going to do heading style one, right? So that is right there. So right align and heading style one has been complete. So we're going to do step seven. Step seven wants us to find the first paragraph in this word, which is the first word in the paragraph of the first sentence. It wants us to put a space and then enter this APSD comma. So that's common and typical in writing where you're going to type the word out and then abbreviate the word. So we'll go ahead and do that next. So we're going to find this word. It wants us to go here, put a space, it's parentheses. I think it was APSD with a comma. We'll go ahead and verify that that is correct. APSD comma, so that was our step seven. So step eight wants us to go to the fourth paragraph and italicize the uh, words three other criteria. So we'll go ahead and we will go to our fourth paragraph in our project. So one, two, three, four. And it wants us to italicize these words. So I simply highlight it, right? So I'm, I'm holding my left mouse down as I'm dragging across the words. As soon as I let go, it gives me this italicized box that comes up if that box didn't come up if i've done something wrong it's up here so that is now italicized okay we're on to step nine um in this step it wants us to select the three paragraphs below in the text um, in order for quality um, and must be met and at the bottom of the page one and apply one two three number list so it simply wants us to make the the items below what we've just italicized in a bullet number list, right? These three, one, two, three. So we're just going to highlight them. We're going to go to number list. Um, it depends on the person, but they may want you to remove this space uh, based on what SimNet says. So you have a number list with no space. To, to remove that space, all I did was, was uh, I clicked in that space and I clicked the delete button on my keyboard. Um, so it depends. I would go ahead and recommend you to remove that space. Okay, for the next step, we're going to apply heading style one. We've done that before to these headings. Okay, so I'm going to try to minimize that so we can we can see the headings. I'm going to go ahead and continue. Um, so it's here's one of those headings, right? And it's heading style one. So I highlight it. I go to styles, and I'm simply looking for heading style one. So that's one of them. Um, I'm going to move this over so I can see it better. Subtypes is the next one. So it looks like it's in order. So I highlight it, go to heading style one. The next one is uh, difference, difference in etology. So let's see if we can find that. Differentials. And so I highlight that, heading style one. Next one looks like to be etology. So uh, there it is. I highlight that. 
heading style one. And uh, the final one, I need to probably make that bigger there. Actually, there's two more, gender disparity and theoretical main conclusion, so three. So gender, theoretical, so let's go ahead and find those. We've got gender, theoretical, I think the last one is conclusion. Oh, two more, conception and conclusion. So that's why it's good to have that opened up, right? So I can make sure that I'm doing the right thing. I think I missed one there. So I'll go back and try to find it. Conception. Oh, I did get theoretical conception. Okay, so that's that one there. All right, so we're going to go to the next step. The next step is to apply heading style 2 to each of these uh, categories. So we'll try to put that over again to the side. Um, and we're going to try to find those heading style 2. I think this is the first one here. Yep, so there's the first one. Try to get that snapped over again. Apply heading style two. Make sure that's easier to read. And that's why sometimes it's just easier to print this out so that you can look at it as you're doing the project. Uh, but however, whatever works better for you. I'm gonna go ahead and get this, I think the last one. Yep, biological. Remember that's heading style two. Okay, the next step, step 12, we're gonna place the cursor at the end of the third sentence in the second paragraph under this heading, and we're going to insert a footnote. We're going to, after the heading words, treatment voluntary, insert a footnote that reads this. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that footnote. So I highlight, right click, copy into highlight. Remember, I, I copied too much, but I just drag the, drag the mouse and left click. Now I'm going to right click and copy that. You can type it in. That's strictly up to you. And we're going to go and find where this is, and we're going to insert that footnote. So it's under this paragraph. It's saying, or this subheading, right? Subheading here, second paragraph, third sentence, and it tells you to look for these words. We're simply going to click here. We're going to go up to the reference tab. And we're going to insert a footnote. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that item that I copied. So just paste it. Now I'm going to go ahead and. Um, so I, I'm going to redo that segment because I did not, I clicked endnote and not footnote. Um, so we're going to go ahead and find that paragraph again um, it is under here we're looking for that right here so before I clicked insert endnote but we want to do the insert footnote and we're going to do that uh, particular sentence there so that's that step uh, so step 13 it wants us to go to the biological section it wants us to cut the paragraph and paste it underneath and it looks like here, biological should be heading style too. I'm not sure if we did that. I think that was not, not done. So I'm going to go ahead and do both of that step and then the step to cut and paste. So we're going to go here. Our biological needs to be heading style too, right? What we want to do is it, we want to highlight this whole first paragraph, right click, cut. And we're going to, it says put it at the end. We're going to, we're going to right click, paste, right? And so now we've moved and done that step. Okay, this next step is probably one of the hardest steps that, that everybody gets uh, incorrect. So we're going to, we're going to take this slow, um, but we'll show you what the end state of it needs to be and what it needs to look like. We're basically going to find a picture online of a CAT scan. 
we're going to resize the picture so it's two inches tall by 1.5 inches wide. We're going to move that picture to the right and our paragraph needs to be down below that picture. So we're going to start it at right underneath the subheading biological. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google Images. I'm going to type in, so I'm Google Images. I'm going to type in CAT scan and I'm going to get a picture of a CAT scan. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one. I simply right click on it and I copy the image. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that image uh, by right clicking and pasting. It's going to be too big, right? Like we said, I'm going to align it to the right. Um, but that that might be the hard part, like sometimes it won't move. So um, we're going to go ahead and keep going on. We right click on it and we format the size and the position. And remember it was saying um, two high 1.5 wide right so let's resize we're going to double check it because sometimes it doesn't work right so we're going to format that picture again actually we're going to size and position that picture again and you can see it didn't right it didn't work right i wanted two two inches high so it, did, it, it automatically just adjusted for me we're going to double check it another time i'm right clicking I'm going to size and position to see that that says 2 and 1.5. It doesn't, so you're going to have to keep doing that and make sure that it's correct, right? Because sometimes it just it just doesn't work right. Um, and it may be the formatting of the picture. Um, or you may have to, you know, play with it here, right? And really, when I'm the instructor, I just look to get it close, right? So let's change that locking ratio and see if we can get it there, right? I unclicked that locking, so maybe it'll it'll let us format it that way. I think that's it, and it doesn't look right, so that's why it wasn't letting me do it before, right? So now I have it when I unlock that ratio. Um, we're going to move it to the right side, so we're going to reposition it to be on the right side here, and that paragraph's going to be underneath. So we're going to move it to the right side. And that paragraph is going to be underneath. Okay, so we've we've aligned that right. The next step is the subtypes. We're going to use bold formatting. And so basically we're going to bold format these subtypes right here. And it's telling us be sure not to bold the dash. So let's go ahead and find those subtypes. Um, so here's the subtypes category. There's the dash it doesn't want us to bold. So we simply highlight, bold, highlight, bold. And there's a couple ways to use bold. You could highlight it here and, and right click in bold, or it'll just come up when you highlight it and just press the bold. So we're doing these five words. That dash in the middle is okay. It's just talking about this dash at the end, not the bold. Step 18 here wants us to select the five subparagraphs we just bolded and put some bullets on there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We simply go to the five ones. We highlight them all. We click on the bullet and it wants us to pick the solid or the hollow. So we'll go ahead and click the hollow bulleting. And again, we're going to go ahead and take out those spacings like we did in the last one. So I'm just going to the last word. I'm hitting the delete button on my keyboard to clean that up a bit. So the next step here is to select the entire document and change the line spacing to 1.15. So if you didn't know, Control A allows you to select the whole document. So we simply go into our document. We hit, just click anywhere, hit Control A. Once we have it there, we're going to, we could either go to paragraph here or we could right click. I'm going to use right click and we're going to go to paragraph. I'm going to go to the line spacing, and 1.15 isn't there, right? So I'm going to do right here 1.15. I'm going to click the OK button, and it makes that adjustment for me. So we've gone ahead and done that. So the next two features, um, it's a great feature that I use all the time. It's to do a find and replace so what we're going to do is find any of these instances and replace it with this so we're going to first find all instances of assd asdd 
and replace it with APSD. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that now. I'm going to go ahead and click on our document, our document here. I'm going to use Control F. I'm going to type in the words ASSD, or I mean, I think it's ASDD. Let's just verify that. So it is finding some. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to go to the replace function. I'm going to replace it with what I'm what I've copied, right? Or I could type that in. So it's going to find all the instances of ASDD and replace it with APSD. So replace all. So 10 replacements were made. I didn't have to go through my paper. I just found it for me. Okay, so 22 and 23 we're going to do very quickly here. Uh, it wants us to insert a table with three rows and three columns. And then once the table is inserted, you have to type these words in that table. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the table. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to type those words. I'll show you how to do the first one and have it navigate to the next cell, but then I'll go ahead and type those in by myself. So we're looking for the etology word, and right above it inserts this table. So we find the etology. We click above it right here. I'm going to insert a table, and that table needs to be three columns and three rows. I simply click that. There's my table. I'm going to hit the enter once just to make it down. Um, so I have to type some words in that table. So I'll show you how to type the first one. I'll type that lack of remorse there in that second, second one. I just click in that table to get to move to the next cell. I could either click in it or I could use the tab button. The tab will send me from cell to cell. Um, so I'll go ahead and type the rest of it in. You can do that on your own, and then we'll continue the video. Okay, we're almost done. We're going we're gonna to add some color to our table here. Um, the easiest way to do this, it tells you about if you have a Chromebook or not. Um, so you can simply highlight your table here. Um, there should be something that comes up as table tools. You can go to design. You can go to shading, and it wants you to use this, this blue accent one um, if you if you can't find that or if you're having problems you can always do it here right so home tab you highlight the same thing it doesn't have the same colors but you, you're you're going to be okay um, but i just highlight the table go to table tools design and pick that pick that fill right there and it should be fine um, we're going to go ahead and bold that those titles right there Okay, so next we're going to do headers and footers here. So step 25, we're going to do a footer. It's going to be on the left-hand side. It's going to be your name. And then a header on the right-hand side is going to be this title. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that title. I right-click and I copied it. So we'll go ahead and do our header first. Insert. We're going to insert a header. Let me get out of that table first. So insert a header. And our header is going to be on the the uh, left hand side, but we could go ahead and um, just do it here. Tab over. That's our title. So I put our header on the right hand side. I just double click to get out of it. So the next thing I want to do is insert. I want to insert that footer. I want our name right here. we we'll just double click to get out of it. So that's our footer and header. It's on every page. Okay, we're going to wrap it up here. We're going to do a spelling check. This is a great tool. Um, it tells you all the misspellings that we have here. Um, so hopefully our spell check will find that. After the spell check, we'll save the document, and then you upload it in how you upload any of your assignments. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and run our spell check. So we can go to review, spelling and grammar. So it's already found one of those. And you could go along with it. Um, I think it wants us to do uh, let's see. Ignore the instance of mal malian. So we're going to ignore that one, right? Um, so we'll go ahead and ignore that. It found self-reliant, so we'll go ahead and see what it says here. All 
I don't see that on here at all. Self-reliance, we'll go ahead and ignore that. Actually, we'll make the change. Maybe we messed that up or something. So resume, so change. We're gonna ignore that. Ignore that misspelling. Sorry about that. So we'll go ahead and ignore. So anyway, you get the point. You're gonna go through and do these this changing, right? So I'll show you how to change one uh, with disorder here. So we'll just keep ignoring until we get the disorder. So it tells us the, the, how to change it. So you just click on and click change. You're going to go through that whole thing until it's complete. Once your spelling is complete, you're going to go ahead and click file. You're going to click save as. Again, you need to know where you're saving it to. You're just going to read save it as the same document. And then you're going to upload it in the class. If you don't know how to upload it in the class, you can always go to the eResource Center, right? eResource Center. And it does explain how to upload a document in an assignment area. Um, there's a, a resource in here, assignment submission instructions. And it, and it goes through the steps on how to submit an assignment, okay? Um, where you just add the submission and you add the file to it. All right, folks, that's it, and good luck to you.